This morning I tried to ask what I thought was a simple question. Do more people die from extreme heat or cold? And with a warming climate, will more or less people die? But it turns out the answer to this question is a bit more nuanced than I originally thought. The short answer is that both heat and cold can kill. But cold is far more deadly. For every death linked to heat, nine are tied to cold. So what does this mean for climate change? Does it mean that as temperatures get warmer, less people will die? It was reported that between 2000 and 2019, annual deaths from heat exposure increased. But deaths from cold exposure, which were far more common, fell by an even larger amount. All told, during those two decades, the world warmed by about 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit, and some 650,000 fewer people died from temperature exposure. So will more or less people die with an increase in temperature due to climate change? It turns out it depends on where you're talking about. Anywhere that's in the green on this map looks like less people die, whereas anywhere in blue means more people will die. You'll notice that there is an increase in mortality in the already hot countries that have a lower GDP per capita, in large part due to an increase in heat deaths, while there is actually decreased mortality in colder countries with a higher GDP per capita. The reason for that is a decrease in cold-related deaths and a larger ability to adapt. So what have we learned? It appears that more people die because of cold than heat. So over the next century, as temperature increases, overall, there will be fewer people dying due to temperature extremes. But there's a bit more nuance to that because it depends on which region you're talking about. In countries that are hotter and typically have a lower GDP per capita, there will be an increase in mortality because there will be an increase in heat-related deaths. Whereas on the other hand, in colder countries that on average have a higher GDP per capita, there will be a decrease in mortality because there will be a decrease in cold-related deaths and they have a larger ability to adapt.